Do you want to know how I progressed my makeup evolution from a total noob who didn't know what to use at all up to today? Keep on watching! Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Orfea and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my makeup evolution. I will be showing you some pictures of makeup looks that I have done in the past and talk about how I evolved from that level up to what I do today. Now I do want to mention that the pictures that I'm showing today are just a few examples. These are not all of the pictures of makeup. The basic makeup that I did when I was younger. so. At the start of these pictures and also before these pictures is just a little bit of black around my eyes and some sort of reddish lipstick or even a lip balm that was reddish that was what i wore and that was it i did not do foundation etc until later on because i simply didn't feel the need to do that so i think i had a black eyeliner pencil like one of those cold pencils that you use a black eyeshadow that i used to smudge around my eyes and then some sort of reddish lipstick if i had one because that only started later as well. Anyhow, let's get into the pictures. The first picture that I want to show you is from 2011. This was for Geraspop when Rob Zombie came to Belgium. Now this is before I had my blog, this is from before I actually tried doing makeup on a decent level. So what I did for this look is I actually used theater type makeup paints that I had from the year before when I saw Kiss at Graspop. That picture is even worse, let me show it here. Um, but basically I just had grease paint type makeup in black and white. Um, and I had some sort of makeup palette that I probably had from my mom, who by the way is allergic to makeup. Um, so this look was one of the first looks that I was actually kind of proud of um, to have pulled off myself. I also did a few tryouts at home, but you can see that it's just white and black grease paint with then some eyeshadows over it. Um, would I still wear this look as is today? No, absolutely not. I would do it a lot different. I have done it different in the past already, um, but yeah. Now, in 2011, I also went to the Wave Gothic Treffen. Now, you will notice in this picture that I have the typical black smoky eye and red to black ombre lip. Now, this is a look that I started doing once I started getting into makeup and knowing that there were different types of lipsticks and makeup and types of products out there and I bought these things as recommended by friends of mine. So I didn't really know what I was getting into, I didn't really know how to use certain products. Um, so this is the typical makeup look that you would see me wearing in 2011-2012 at regular parties if you saw me anywhere. Um, then we have 2012 the Amphi Festival. Here you can see I am probably wearing makeup. Well, I'm at least wearing foundation and I have contoured my face a little bit. My makeup is black to red. I did it to my eyebrows. That's something that I only started doing later on. Now, end of 2012 is when I started my makeup blog or at least documenting my progression in makeup and started trying out products, testing them. So this is before I did that. Then I have a few pictures from makeup looks that I did back in the days on my YouTube channel. These are from 2013. As you can tell from the first one, the Bride of Frankenstein stitched look, um, I had some smudgy eye makeup on. I didn't wear mascara, I think. I didn't fill in my brows or maybe I did for this look. The best red lipstick that I could have probably and then I drew on the stitches and I think I did this with eyeliner pencils or lip liner pencils. So this isn't terrible, I think the stitches are the best part of the makeup but the eyes and the lips are just terrible. Next picture is from the same year from another video where I did half of a skull face and half of a glam-ish makeup face. Um, yeah. I think I'm getting better at this point because I'm practicing my makeup a lot more than I used to, but still my eyebrow on my glam-ish side is not even filled in, there's no contour, no highlights. 
but you can see definitely that I'm trying at this point to do makeup well. Then we go to 2014. Um, this snippet is from a Get Ready With Me video and this was the basic makeup that I would be wearing a lot. So again, black around the eyes, red with black lipstick. Um, I'm not sure if I did contour at the time, I don't think so. Maybe my brows are filled in, maybe they're not, I can't really tell. Then the next one is the thumbnail for a video that I did in 2015 for the Repo The Genetic Opera Blind MAC makeup. This is a makeup look that was requested for me to do on my channel and I think it doesn't look bad. Now 2015 is when I was already with my partner at the time and in 2015-16 I really progressed makeup wise. I wasn't living at home anymore most of the time. I was able to do makeup wise at least whatever I wanted. Um, so for me 2015-2016 is when you saw really an evolution in my makeup. Now, if you scroll all the way down to my Instagram, I think the first makeup looks that you will be able to see there are from 2016. Now, I am in my Instagram and I am looking at some of them. So what I see here is already my makeup skills are pretty much as they are today, more or less, give or take. Um, this one, I already filled in my eyebrows. I did a red glitter look on my eyes, um, purple lipstick, nose chain, which is basically what I love to do. Then I have a picture of some sort of um, skull look that I did for facts. It was the horror edition, so the October edition when we went and I wanted to do some cool dead inspired makeup. I know this was a necromancer look that I tried to do and I actually really liked it. Now this picture is in black and white but the actual makeup was in black, white and grey as well. So you can see that I started doing shading on the bones etc. And then of course the cyber makeup looks. This is something that I really enjoyed doing at the time. I still enjoy doing it but I don't have the occasion to wear this type of makeup a lot. Back then there were a lot of parties to attend but now there are not. So I used to draw lines all over my face, in my eyebrows, at my lips, at my uh, bottom of my chin etc. And there is quite a few makeup looks that are similar to that where I just drew on lines on my face and just tried to look pretty with it. And that's actually most of the makeup that I used to do. Um, it was lines, it was already very pretty in my opinion at least. Um, so I think from 2016 to now there isn't really a big change. Now the main thing that I think made my makeup go from okay to a lot better is having the right products. I used to just buy my makeup at our local Kruidvat, which is a drugstore type of store where you can buy makeup as well. And I used to use only Essence and Catrice, who are kind of the in-house cheapest brands. Now they do come out with a lot of colors, not every product they have is bad, but not every product is good either. So I used to work with eyeshadows that didn't really have a lot of payout, um, that didn't really have vibrant colors. So that was something that I personally struggled with. I wasn't able to get the results I wanted because of the poor quality of products. Then I think I bought either first a Kat Von D product or I bought my first set of products from Notoriously Morbid. But that is when I started noticing the change because I had highly pigmented products. Um, I also bought some things from Sugar Pill, if I'm not mistaken, and those are the products that I started playing with. For eyeshadows, I would highly recommend just buying a good set of eyeshadows that you can play around with and not buying the generic cheap ones. I'm not saying every single shade of them is bad, but I must say that there is a big difference. And if you invest a little bit into a good palette, I will promise you it is well worth it. So that's when I started noticing a big difference when I started playing around with different brands and actually investing a little bit more. So I stopped buying makeup every week more or less or every two weeks at Kruidvat and I started buying makeup once a month from a higher price point. And those are the things that made me evolve. I started using different types of eyeliner. I started using the Kat Von D products back in the days. Um, it's something that I actually noticed a big improvement in my makeup with when I started actually using better products. 
Um, so that is one of the main tips that I have for you is look around what there is, what is available to you. If you can invest a little bit more in quality products, then I would recommend doing that. Now, of course, I did wait for sales until buying those products because they were still expensive and I didn't just throw my money out. Now, back in the days, for alternative makeup looks, there weren't a lot of YouTubers. Nowadays, you have Mikey, Glamangor, you can go to several YouTube channels, there's Nikki Tutorials, there's of course a ton more, but there is a lot out there to find nowadays makeup-wise. When I started out, there were a few blogs, most of them didn't really cater to alternative makeup at all, so I started making my own videos. And my own videos, when looking back at them, which I did today, are really cringe-worthy and are really, really bad. But back in the days, it was the only thing available. And some of those videos got a lot of views because there wasn't anything else out there. So nowadays, I think you can find almost anything online. You can find almost any makeup tutorial online, how to do a cat eye, how to do a smoky eye, how to do a red eye makeup look. You can just type it into YouTube and you will find tutorials out there explaining to you how to get the best results. So I think that Combining YouTube and my blog was actually a good step for me and then investing in a little bit better products than what I used to have. Um, that was the biggest difference for me makeup wise. So I hope you enjoyed this makeup evolution. The details of today's makeup look are in the description of this video. If you have any questions at all makeup wise for me, feel free to ask as well in the comment section below. Also let me know, have you evolved makeup wise? What is something that you used to do that you don't do anymore? I don't do my smoky eye anymore the way that I used to. I used to just take my cold pencil, rub it around my eye and then smudge it out with some black eyeshadow. It would always crease almost instantly um, and the lipstick that I had was just a cheap sticky lipstick. Nowadays I use liquid lipstick which is a lot better and it dries really matte and smooth. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I make new videos every week and I would love to have you for every single one of them. I of course also want to thank my patrons and more specifically my high tier patrons Jerry and Anders. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, it means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon, bye!